it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with a review for Eight Will Fall by Sarah Harin. I was contacted by the publisher and sent a copy of this book in exchange for my honest review. I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars, so without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> this book is set in a land where magic is outlawed and empaths are forced to mine for a mineral called luminite which causes their powers to be hindered. One guide and seven criminal empaths are led by a 17-year-old named Larkin into the Reach where they are sent by the Queen in order to kill a great evil that is threatening her kingdom. The deeper they go, the more dangerous it becomes, and the mission seems like a death sentence. Then they discover a dark secret about their past that causes them all to believe that they may have been chosen for a reason. Before I begin anything, I just want to say how perfect this cover is for the book. It encapsulates the whole story so well. It was a lot darker than I initially thought it would be. The world building in this was very interesting. I think that the magic system was definitely the most intriguing part of the book. Basically, empaths are individuals who have the ability to take people's emotions and either conjure things with it or destroy things with it. I will say that the beginning of the book, the whole world building set up for the story, was very slow. It did take a long time, but that is understandable to set up the world and for the reader to understand what empaths are, why magic is outlawed, what happened all those years ago, blah blah blah. So like, it makes sense why, but I'm a person who likes action right from the beginning, so for me that was a bit of a downfall. The story did pick up once the group was sent down into the Reach, and that's when the action really started, and that's when I became fully invested in the story. Apparently the book was supposed to be a duology, but it got changed to a standalone, so maybe that is why the pacing was a little bit off to me at times. I don't know. I think that the concept of the Reach was very interesting. It was described very well in the book to the point where I could picture it clearly in my head. I think that the creatures that the group encountered in the Reach were creepy and grotesque and they were definitely my favorite part of the story. There is a lot of body horror in this book so if that's something that makes you uncomfortable definitely be aware of that going into it. I personally am okay with it most of the time. Sometimes I get a bit queasy but it wasn't too much that I couldn't handle it in this book. So the biggest downfall that I think this book has is the characters. A lot of people are under the impression that there are eight points of views because there are eight main characters, but that's not the case. Um, everything is from Larkin's perspective, and I think that that is a bit of a downfall because you don't really get to know any of the other characters that you're supposed to care about while going into the Reach. I just personally think that if you're going to have eight main characters that you want the reader to actually have a connection with, they need to be a bit more fleshed out other than just knowing their names and that they're empaths. Like, there wasn't really any personality to any of them. I think that each member of the group was just very one-dimensional. Like I said, I never got to know any of them. If I had to pick a favorite, I would pick Elf just because she was the one closest to Larkin, so she was the one that you knew the most about. But I honestly didn't really care if anybody was injured or killed in the Reach because I wasn't connected to any of them. Overall, it was an interesting read. I think that it would be a great read around Halloween. It's definitely a creepy spooky atmosphere and if you don't mind a little bit of blood and gore then I would definitely recommend checking it out. I just want to say thank you to the publisher for sending me a copy of this book and letting me be a part of the tour. The book comes out tomorrow if you're interested in getting yourself a copy so definitely check it out if you are interested. Let me know down below if you plan on reading this book or by the time you're watching this, you have read this book, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!